Okay, now we come to the second part of this tutorial, which is positioning your GIMP cards into the template. Now pull up your template and go to File and download your business cards. Hopefully you've created them in the correct format, which is 1050 by 600 pixels. When you download them, they're going to look huge, but they will fit into your template perfectly because we've counted the pixels. So click on to Edit and then click Copy. Now move over to your template, click Edit, and click Paste. Now don't forget to left click on your Move tool, otherwise you're not going to be able to move your card, which is what we're going to do next. We're going to move it up and position it just under the top guideline. Don't cover the center line. Now we're going to expand the size of your canvas to about 50 percent and it'll be easier to work with. Click on Edit and Paste. Don't click any more Copy. We finished with Copy. It's now going to be Paste. Okay. Now we're going to click on another Edit and another Paste. Now this card, we're going to be very careful to keep our center line intact, but we're going to paste it right over the horizontal line. Don't cover the center guideline, okay? And we do another one. So we're going to continue like this until we have 10 cards on our sheet. You're going to remove the guidelines by using the bucket fill. I've just used turquoise for demo purposes only. Normally you're going to print on white or color cardstock. So nearly always you're going to be using white to remove the center guidelines. Make sure you have changed your ink to white. Choose your bucket and carefully position it over that center guideline and click. And now you've removed the black line but you have been able to retain the cutting guides. Now remember that white is transparent when you print anything in a graphics program. So bucket filling a black line with white makes it transparent. It's not advisable to print a background color, just use colored cardstock. Uh, it makes it easier both for the cutting and for the printing.